So this is the tool I use to clean the oxide off the copper. This is actually designed for cleaning car battery terminals. You just put the terminal inside the middle of that and rotate it and it will clean the corrosion off the battery terminal. It also worked quite well to remove the oxide from the copper rod that I'm using. And I use this hacksaw here to cut both the copper and the nickel. So I just cut a small section of this off using the hacksaw. This is the nickel. And I just cut a piece off of this copper wire here so I have a short rod that I can use. And here is the nickel anode I'm going to be using. I took some measurements and the volume comes out to being 156.4 cubic millimeters. So the hydrochloric acid finally arrived. I got it from a company called DUDA Diesel, which sells on Amazon. It cost me roughly $17. And you can actually get it cheaper at Home Depot. I think it's $5 per gallon. So it's an interesting packing material. Might be fiberglass. And here's the container. This is hydrochloric acid or muriatic acid. It is 32% concentration and I'm meant to keep it in a dry, cool place. All right, let's see if it works. Okay, so here's the actual setup. I used a jar, which is made out of glass, and I have the hydrochloric acid in the bottom, and I have the copper on the cathode and the nickel on the anode, and I'm using five volts to power the electroplating process. And here is an image of a schematic I drew of the circuit, as it were. So on the left, there's the nickel, and on the right, there's the copper. So you can see that the copper is at ground potential and the nickel is at the 5 volt potential. Okay, so here are the results of my second electroplating experiment. You can see here's the original color of the copper and then the silver here is the nickel that was transferred through the acid. Now I did measure the diameter. It has not changed at all as far as I can tell. So there isn't too much nickel on there but uh, I will be doing another experiment shortly. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.